With the Yankees staring at a postseasonless October, who do you think they'd rather see less than Roy Halladay? Probably nobody, but too bad for New York. He and the Blue Jays on the schedule Sunday afternoon. The ace of Toronto looking for his fourth win of the season against the Bombers. Andy Pettit starting for the Yanks today, coming off one of the worst starts of the season against Boston. Six runs on ten hits and right out of the gates. He was struggling again. Rod Barajas already with Toronto up 1-0. He makes it 3-0. Doubles over the head of Xavier Nady. Alex Rios and Vernon Wells both score. Toronto up a field goal. It's now 3-0. You figured that'd be enough for Roy Halladay, but the Yankees actually hung tough in this one. It's now 4-0 Toronto in the fourth. A-Rod silences some demons there to the deepest part of the park. Basically one hands this one is 29th of the season. It's now 4-1 Toronto. Jason Giambi, two innings later, gets into the act. His 28th of the year to the right field porch. It's now 4-2. Jose Vera still 4-2 in the seventh, trying to keep it close. 5-2, make it 6-2. With Rios at the dish, the wild pitch scores Marco Scudero. 6-2 Toronto, that was your final. Pettit again, six runs, ten hits. He takes the loss. Halliday, his fourth win of the season, as we said, against the Yanks. Eight hits, two earned runs in just seven innings. Two hits each for David Eckstein and Vernon Wells. The Yanks remain seven games back of Boston in the wild card. That's because the Red Sox lost to Chicago Sunday afternoon. Roy Halladay for the season. Very, very good year for him. As usual, this guy's put in his Cy Young Award a couple years ago. 204 innings, 178 hits. It's very good that he got that hit to inning ratio. Let's take a look at the G Pitcher Scout Report. This will be his 250th career start. He's got 124 62 losses. That's the fifth highest winning percentage over the last 40 seasons. Scissors effect. He's got a very, very hard sinker slider. You can see kind of a crisscross effect to these Yankee hitters. I think you eliminate one of the sides and look for either the sinker or the slider coming in. And Johnny Damon swings and misses. Barajas with the throw to first. And there's now one away. Or a single would get the Yankees a run. Shattered back. And the line drive is right back to Halliday. And he throws to first to get the out. For the second out of the inning. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Now the runners can advance. He talks about that extensively, how that's really helped him mentally. Damon goes, and the hit and run was on. Jeter taps one back to Halliday. And there's one away as Damon moves to second. Got a lot of foul balls. He used to get a lot of foul balls. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. So Molina is out. One away. For two to the pitches and what inning and how many pitches per inning. It's just excessive, I think. Grounded to third. Rolling. And that'll do it. An easy one, two, three inning on five pitches. The 0 1. Grounded through for base hit. Scoring is Scudero. Rios will stop at second. It's an RBI single for Wells. And the Blue Jays are on the board first. They lead 1-0. Number 20. Vernon Wells going inside out on this fastball that's supposed to be inside. You see where it ends up on the outside part of the plate. Keeps his hands inside the ball. Robinson Cano playing slight pull up the middle. Opens up that right side there. High fly ball, left field. Nady got a late jump. Now he backpedals, and it's over his head and up against the wall. Rio scores. Here comes Wells. He'll score. The throw gets away, stopping at second. Is Barajas. It's a two-run double, and the Blue Jays lead 3-0, and Nady lost that ball off the bat. You said it, Michael, right off the bat. Nady's reaction was he took about three steps in. He thought this was a jam shop. See how he moved in and realized... Did not pick it up off the bat. That was the difference right there. Clearly got it into the sun. Wasn't able to pick it up. There, see the two steps, and that's all it was. Misjudged that fly ball. Can't really swing freely if your arm hurts. Swung freely there. A deep fly ball. Left field. See ya. Solo home run, Scott Rowland. And the Blue Jays lead 4-0. Gets a breaking ball down and in, just right to the path of his swing. Coming down and in. Yankee hitter pitchers have been elevating some high fastballs. I think Andy 
And Molina wanted that curveball down in the dirt. One two count. This is the final day of August. That one is driven deep to center field, going back Wells. Track, wall, leaks. See ya! Home run, Alex Rodriguez. It's his first home run against Doc Holliday in this 59th at bat. And the Yankees are on the board. The Blue Jays now lead 4-1. to one. That is his 547th career home run and 29th of the year. That's the swing right there, down and away. That's a fastball. You saw it was about knee high on the outside part of the plate. When he's feeling good, look at it, just like he flicked at it. 410 some odd feet straight away. Vernon Wells makes a nice effort there. Let's see how close he actually got to that ball. Pretty close. Yes. The 2-2. That one's driven deep to right. There it goes. See ya. Solo home run Giambi into the short porch and right. And the Blue Jays now lead 4-2. to two. Goes to show, Al, no matter how good the pitcher is, if you have to throw that many pitches, you can't make great pitches all the time. Ten pitches, and success-wise, as far as damage, he's had three home runs against Halliday, 313 batting average coming into today's... Line drive to left field. It is a base hit. Scoring is McDonald. Moving to third is Scudero. It's an RBI single for Eckstein, and the Blue Jays lead 5-2.